Joel from Dark Room Reviews, he asked, what was your experience in the world of comic book collecting? Well, Joel, it pretty much started back in 2016 when I first got some money after, you know, getting a little bit of jobs, moving out my mom's house. Well, that was way before 2016, but it was my first good job. So the money was kind of flowing in. It was, it was a really good time. So at that point in time, I was actually able to afford a comic book budget. And let me tell you, I was able to parlay through conversations with my wife. My budget was $50 a week for comic books. And I know that sounds crazy because it was crazy because there's no way I should have been spending that much money on comic books. But there was a comic book store called Atomic City Comics, which is a comic book store I still go to to this day on South Street in Philly, where basically they said, if you created an account with us where we would pretty much pull five or six books for you, we would take 30% off those books. I didn't just pull five or six books, I had like maybe 15 to 20 books on my pull list. Yeah, it got a little crazy, but I always made the excuse, man, it's that, it's that 30% off though. That 30% off. I'll make that deal. How about you, you bitch, you make that deal? I'd make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. $100 in comic books is really $70. So I was making all kinds of crazy excuses like that. And that was around the time, the same time actually, that DC has started their new Rebirth line where they were releasing comic books at $2.99, I believe it was. I had the Batman run. I had the Green Arrow run. I don't think I had the Flash run, but I had a couple of other runs and I stuck with them for a while. It was twice a month that they were releasing these titles. And not only that, of course, I got into the Miles Morales. I got into the Black Panther book with Tana Hazy Coates. And then I discovered this little publishing company called Image Comics, which is an independent comic company that does not have a shared universe. It's just a bunch of different stories that have nothing to do with each other. And pretty much once I discovered that, that's when my love for comics really got ignited. I mean, I love comics before, but just the different types of stories that were not always superhero stories, the slice of life stories. There's all kinds of different stories like that. So what ended up happening was the money I spent on that kind of increased the more different types of comic books I love. What that ended up turning into was me owning 12 long boxes full of comic books. But after a while, the long boxes became kind of ugly. So I decided to forego just buying individual like floppy comics, which are the individual ones, and ended up investing more of my money into trade paperbacks. For those of you who don't know, trade paperbacks are essentially one set of comic books, right? So you would buy like an individual comic and it would come in something like, you know, something like this, you know, as an individual comic, or you can purchase a trade paperback which has, I think this one has like five or six issues in it. So it's five or six issues in it at one time for, let's see, how much is this one? $14.99, which is much cheaper than buying five or six issues at the cost of $3.99, which is the typical cost. The $2.99 for a book every two weeks, which DC was doing, is abnormal, basically. Even with that, $2.99 twice a month for one trade paperback's worth of comics, we said it was what? six or seven we'll round up the 299 to three multiply that by two you got six actually you should actually multiply that three by six which is 18 and if it's more than that because we're doing you know three times six basically long story short a trade is cheaper but what i did to make a trade even cheaper i went to the bargain bin in the comic book stores i used to go to different comic book stores and look for the trades on sale bin and that's where i got most of my comics truth be told most of my trade paperback collection which is 1183 trades came from bargain bin shopping and i also found a great store called second and charles which is in delaware i believe there's another one in jersey as well where they would sell trades for anywhere from like two dollars and fifty cent all the way up to seven dollars and fifty cent on ebay i once purchased volumes one through i believe 23 of the walking dead by robert kirkman for 100 dollars. the walking dead comics are probably somewhere between 14.99 to 16.99 you multiply that by 23 14.99 to 16.99 trades compared to it just being 100 dollars 
Bottom line, it was a steal. I currently have, like I said, 1,183 trades, but I've only read 795 of them, which leaves me with 388 of them left. I don't even really need to buy anymore. I have damn near 400 that I haven't read already. Uh -huh.